One of our members asked me to create a daily core class. So this is something that you can do every day. Unlike heavy lifting, you can do core work, maintenance work for your core every day. So it's all on the floor and you could do this in your bed. Um, the only portion at the very end we crawl, that might be weird in your bed because it's pretty lumpy and moving, but you could give it a try. Okay, so we're going to come down onto the floor and I started to go the wrong way. We're going to put our feet up on the wall to start this. We're going to do a breathing exercise. You can do this with your feet in a chair. It's a little more supported that way, but it's totally up to you. So inching towards the wall and getting prepared always takes a moment. And part of the reason I'm doing it this way is it really gives you an excellent opportunity to find neutral without the drag of your legs pulling you out of neutral. So here we are, I've got my hands on my pelvis and I'm just going to tuck and untuck so that I can be certain of where my pelvis is in space. I don't want my ribs moving as I do this. And then I'm just going to settle into what feels like a neutral pelvis. It doesn't have to be perfect. And believe it or not, we are going to do core breathing. So we are going to inhale in every direction. So you may even feel expansion, the back of your waist expanding into the floor and then we're going to exhale that marble traveling up and behind your belly button. And you should feel a little tightening going up. And of course it starts with your pelvic floor. You may not feel that, but you should probably feel tightening in the abdominals from the transverse abdominus through the obliques. You should feel all of that activating. So let's have our hands down at our side and just a little long back of your neck, feeling like you're pressing your nose into the wall a little bit, then release that tension and just keep the back of your neck long. Let's inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Wonderful. I am going to scooch the other direction and notice that I am doing this without doing any flexion in my spine. So it really, can be pretty handy. You can move yourself around. I just have to do this for the camera. You obviously don't have to do this. And now we're going to do a limb reach. So I'm going to reach my right leg and my right arm away from each other while I press my head into the floor and come back. And then I'll go the other side, reach, flex that foot, reach the arm, I feel a stretch in this region. You may feel the stretch in your hips, your legs, your shoulder. We'll do it again. Inhale and exhale. Reach, 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 reach. This is a little bit of a release. We've warmed up our core with that breathing. And now we're just doing a little stretch that also helps decompress in the pelvis area. And one more time, reaching, reaching, reaching. Fantastic. Then we do our famous Dr. Stuart McGill no crunch abs. And that means I lengthen out one leg, lift my bum, put my fingertips under here, elbows are off the ground, and I'm just going to float my head with that marble traveling up exhale. So as I reach my leg long, maybe my heel comes off the ground, and I'm just lifting my head up enough to stick a piece of paper under it. 
And relax. We're going to do it again. And relax. So these are my deep neck flexors that are working, but your whole abdominal wall is alive. Inhale and exhale, float that head. Dr. McGill has done the studies to let us know, rest, that he gets more abdominal activation with this little exercise than a traditional sit-up. And one more time. Ah, fantastic. Now we are going to do the Pilates 100. We're not going to do 10 of them. We are going to do five, and we're not lifting our head the way you would in a Pilates class. So we bring one leg into tabletop. Exhale, bring the other leg into tabletop. If you can be in a neutral spine, that's more core work. If you need to press your back into the mat because it's really tugging on your low back, go right ahead and do that. Inhale and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And inhale and exhale. <sighs> inhale and exhale. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Might look silly, but you really do get your core alive and awake. I forgot to tell you, if you'd like something under your head, the hundred's a good time to try it, or now when we do the bicycle. So unlike a bicycle that you might see in a Pilates or even a yoga class, we are not going to lift our head for this. We bring both legs up into tabletop, so that's core activation on the exhale. And then, whew, this is how I love to do it. You get a little isometric work whew, with the resistance of your hand into your thigh and your thigh into your hand. Whew, really have to use that exhale to keep your abdominals working. Keep going. Fantastic. I like to put my legs nice and wide and do a little windshield wiper. I don't like the flip floppy windshield wiper, but rather a really controlled stretch. And again. Then we're going to come back up into tabletop, a familiar theme for working your core. And we're going to take the left leg and the right arm, and then opposite. Don't go very super low with this leg or it can really pull on your low back. But in this position, you are really exhaling, working your core. Oh, more. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Great. And coming back down, another little stretch and a stretch and come back up and move one leg out and bring it back in. The other leg out, bring it back in. The core work is happening because you're holding your pelvis steady. It's not tipping from side to side. And if you move your leg out this far, that's work. If you're able to move it further, great. But if not, no big deal. Just go within a range that really works for you. Fantastic. Now we're gonna come and do the bird dog. This is one of my favorite exercises. Everybody should do it. 
So we're going to do right arm, left leg, flex that foot and punch that arm, get tall, broad shoulder blades. Check out your thigh, make sure it's not cockeyed, make sure it's straight up and down. And then come back in. And again. Okay, second set. Last set. And last one. Wonderful. Now, my second favorite exercise, side plank. You really round out your core by adding in side plank. So you can do it right here. Don't be schlumped, be right here. Or lengthen out your top leg and lift your hip. Or if you're really feeling strong, have your top leg be the front leg, the bottom leg be right there. Fantastic. Switch to the other side. Gives your shoulder a break. So again, you pick how you're going to do it. You could be here. You could even raise an arm. Marble traveling up always has to be working. Fantastic. So let's do another one on each side. Here we go. Almost there. And the other side, and then we're just gonna be crawling. So here we go for our last side plank. All right, and it's crawling time. So you can crawl like this, or if you wanted to make it more difficult, you could do it with your knees off the ground. And you'll notice in that last one, I had a moment where I kind of veered off to the side. So obviously our goal is to not do that, but it will happen from time to time. It's the corrections and the learning that your body does that's so important. And of course, going backwards is much harder than going forwards. And walking on up. Thank you for joining me. That's all it takes. A short 14 minutes of your day to get your daily core workout in.